There really is no better way to beat the summer heat than with a nice salad for lunch. And especially when it's a nice filling salad like this here. This is grilled chicken niçoise salad. Now I know in a regular niçoise they use tuna, but hey, chicken of the sea, chicken of the land. I'll take the chicken of the land anytime. It's quite delicious, especially when you grill it. All right, this has got potatoes, chicken, cherry tomatoes, olives, capers, eggs on top. This is a, a fantastic lunch dish. Hmm. Or dinner. It's definitely a summer meal. All right, let's go in the kitchen and make this right now. Right, the first thing we wanna to do to make our salad is to marinate the chicken. So this should be a minimum of four hours before. Best to either do it in the morning before you go off to work or whatever, or the night before, let it marinate all night, just adds more and more flavor. So what we're gonna do, first we're gonna make the marinade. So we've got a larger bowl here. Um, we have here one pound of chicken or 450 grams of chicken. We have here uh, one, uh, sorry, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of vinegar, one tablespoon of dried uh, rosemary, and then two cloves of garlic crushed. So these ingredients are going to go into the bowl. Yeah, well, the garlic's going to need a little bit of persuasion. There we go. Garlic. Toss in the uh, rosemary. And then all we're going to do is give that a quick whisk. Now, in goes the chicken. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss that chicken around until we get everything coated with some of the marinade. We have every piece of chicken coated. So just keep tossing around, making sure that you're coating everything. Oh, look at that. There we go. Starting to coat. Toss it around a bit more. You just get that oil, garlic, rosemary, vinegar, just coating everything. All right. What we're going to do now, I'm going to cover this with some wrap and put it in the refrigerator. And like I say, four hours, all day, overnight even better. The longer the better. All right. I'll see you later where we're going to grill this up, and then we're gonna make the salad. All right, that chicken has been marinating, covered in the refrigerator overnight. As I said before, it could be anywhere between four hours, overnight, a whole day. Just wanna get a good marinade going, just get that flavor in there. So now, what I've got here, you can either do this on a small barbecue, you can do it on a grill pan, Something to give the grill marks is nice because that really gives color to your uh, salad. But what I'm going to use here is this old uh, beast of mine. This is uh, the electric griddle, which also gives grill marks. So I've got it up on a good hot heat. And then just going to lay the chicken on there. Lay the strips across. Basically try to do them lengthwise because that way we're going to get, it's going to look nice. You get grill marks going across it. So I'm going to Put these on here. Now, every time you do it, I can't give you an exact time for cooking this because really, it depends on the heat of your grill, thickness of your chicken. Um, these are all cut to about, you know, roughly a half an inch to, you know, four millimeters thick, thereabouts, but everyone's a little bit different. So the best thing to do is to cook these and keep an eye on them, flip them back and forth, you know, them cook for a while on one side and then flip them over the other. And what you want to do to check for doneness is just to uh, take a, one of the bigger pieces, flake it open, and it should be white inside. If it's gone white inside, then it's ready to eat. All right, I'm going to keep laying these on here. Uh, I'm going to flip them. When they're finished cooking, all we're going to do is just let the chicken cool. We want everything cold before we make the salad. All right, see you in a while. We're going to assemble this Niswa salad. All right, those have been browning nicely on both sides, so it's time to take a little test. I've got a piece, fatter piece of chicken right here. 
So let's just cut into that. And yeah, it's white on the inside. That's cooked. Now, I started that end, came towards this, and these, I'm just going to kind of let them cook a little bit longer, but those at that end are ready to be removed. Let's put them onto a plate with some paper towel. Just kind of get rid of the excess, any excess oil or anything. And spread them out a little bit so they can cool. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Nicely browned, the grill marks on there, a little bit of rosemary. These are going to be delicious in a salad. Okay, I'll see you in a while when everything's cooled down and we're going to put the salad together. All right, so now our chicken has cooled down. We actually, uh, after we let it drain a bit on the paper towel, put it in the refrigerator, covered, let it chill right down. Same with everything else here is, is chilled. So to go with the uh, chicken, what we have here is potato. This is a three quarters of a pound or 340 grams of little, you know, if you get the little baby potatoes, uh, any of them that aren't small bite size, just after, after cooking, we cut them into smaller pieces or cut them in half or something like this. These have been cooked in uh, salted boiling water for about 16 to 18 minutes, really just until they're tender to the fork. That's when you want to get them out, quickly chill them off in some cold water, and then once they've cooled down in the refrigerator, chill them right down. Here we have green beans. That's a quarter of a pound or about 110 grams of green beans with the ends cut off. They've been cut to, oh, about uh, one inch or so long, and about uh, anywhere between 20, 25 millimeters. It's not, it's not exact. And then they've also been uh, cooked in some boiling salted water for about five to six minutes and then chilled off. Here, we have anywhere between, yeah, these, these amounts don't have to be exact, so anywhere between 15 and 20 cherry tomatoes. Here, half a cup of sliced back black, <laughs> sliced back olives, sliced black olives. Um, two tablespoons of capers, two tablespoons of minced up fresh parsley, and to go on top, four hard boiled eggs, which have been cut in half. Now, to hard boil eggs, just and the footnotes of the recipe on the website, I've got the uh, directions for hard boiled eggs for anybody who you know, is never too sure. I know I'm never too sure about the timing. I have to go check my own notes and see how long to hard boil these for. So what we're going to do now is we have a, our wooden bowl here and everything but the eggs is just going to go into here now. So get this all out of our way and this goes the, the potatoes, the green beans, the tomatoes the olives, oh, there's one staying, uh, the capers, the parsley, and I say we're just gonna keep those eggs, they go for last, they're gonna go on top as decoration. So let's make the dressing. The dressing, what I have here is um, six tablespoons of olive oil, that's gonna go in there, two tablespoons of vinegar, Two tablespoons of a whole grain mustard. Now, lots of grain in there. Let's get that in there. Then we have one clove of garlic, which has been crushed. A quarter teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of pepper. And all we're going to do with that is whisk it up. Now, what we want to do is we whisk it until it kind of emulsifies. So the oil and vinegar don't separate. That mustard will help hold it together all right let's hold that there for right now I'm gonna leave the whisk there balanced on that because I'm probably gonna use that again uh, just a last minute whisk so now we've got all these goodies in here we're gonna to toss them around a bit we're just kind of toss that a little just gently we don't want to break up those potatoes there we go and then I'm gonna take this now I'm not going to use all the dressing. I'm going to save a little bit to drizzle on top of those, uh, on top of the uh, eggs once they're on top of the salad, once you've laid it out in a plate. So what I'm going to do here is leave them behind, oh, a couple tablespoons. There we go. That's about right. Whoops. And off you go. All right. So let's put that aside again and give this one more gentle toss. Yeah, we don't want to 
be too rough on this because otherwise we're going to break up those potatoes. But just enough to come on. Look at that. Does that look delicious or what? Mmm. Okay. Now, nice way to serve this up is to serve it up in like a kind of a wide bowl type plate. See what you have in your, um, in your cutlery or <laughs> crockery. And I'm going to serve half of this up in this one. So enough for two people here. This is a really fantastic summer lunch. In fact, in our house, we're having this for lunch today. All right, I just kind of want to arrange it so, you know, I've got a couple of tomatoes there, add a little color, and pop one over here. Doesn't that look nice? All right, it's not quite half, so I'll put a couple more in here. There we go, let's see. All right, uh, looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put that aside for right now. That'll be for the, the second plate. Now, all we do is arrange half of the uh, eggs on here. So, one there, one there. One of the tricks to um, see how clean they cut, take your knife and run it under some hot water. And, and don't dry it, just leave a little hot water on there. And I just run it under hot water between cutting each egg. So otherwise, it kind of smears that uh, egg yolk. You don't want to do that. You want a nice, cleanly cut egg. Oh, you're the wrong way. There we go. All right. So we've got our eggs on here. And then all you do is take this and just drizzle a little bit on each egg. So it kind of spread that across there. There we go. There we go. So each egg gets a little bit of dressing on it. Make sure I save, save enough for the second plate or somebody's going to get cheated. All right, there we go. Okay, so all this is going to go into a uh, second plate for the second person to eat. Stay there. And there you go. A uh, grilled chicken niçois salad. Not exactly the French way of doing it. This is the Riley way of doing it. Enjoy. Now, if you go to the link appearing on the screen, you can get the free printable recipe for a grilled chicken niçois salad and the directions for making perfect hard-boiled eggs on our website. So go print out the recipe, have fun making and eating this refreshing salad, and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen. <laughs>